The top creators on YouTube who inspire me on a daily basis. This is obviously a very subjective list. What bowls me over about the people on this list I'm about to share with you more than anything is just how ridiculously talented they all are. I want to kick things off with one of my favorites. His name is Peter McKinnon. Who is Peter McKinnon, you might ask? There's still a lot of people who don't know who Peter McKinnon is. This guy from Toronto. Peter is famous for his hyper charismatic on camera personality. It's really hard to not like this guy. The content that he produces is very accessible. It's very every man. Peter got started in the fall of 2017 and has gone on to become one of the biggest personalities on the platform. Peter has developed a very unique style, really immersive B-roll sequences where he shows that you don't need a lot of space or material to work with in order to create supplementary footage that adds appeal to whatever story that you're crafting. It's really difficult to not come away from each one of his videos having gotten a lot of value and learned a hell of a lot about the craft of video production. Moving on, just one of the greatest editors I've ever come across. Her name is Iz Harris. If you go to my Medium, I, I do some writings on Medium, um, you'll see a, you know, a story that I wrote on Iz. I started watching all of her content and I found myself increasingly in awe. The amount of vulnerability and honesty. Iz Harris is a mother. She's a gifted storyteller. You know, the sky's the limit for someone this comfortable with themselves, this confident in their own skin. Like a lot of other people, I'm on the edge of my seat. I can't wait to see what happens next for Iz Harris. I'm a huge fan and I'll continue to shout from the hilltops about her talent and I wanna see where things go. <sighs> Moving along the list is a guy from the Toronto area as well. His name's Daniel Schiffer. Getting a little parched here. I should uh, take a little bit of water. What I relate to about Daniel so much is that he is also someone coming out of the marketing arena. Daniel is simply amazing. Daniel is famous for his very obvious love for food content. It seems like he's constantly shooting in a kitchen. What is so infectious about Daniel is his attention to detail. You have a lot of other YouTubers who have challenged themselves to take a little bit from what they're seeing that Daniel is doing and inject that into their own content. Chris Howe and Lizzie Pierce, also Toronto area professionals. And I guess this list is turning into a very Toronto heavy, but that was totally not purposeful. You know, travel content is a big part of what they do. Incredibly talented at what they do. Very immersive in terms of the quality of content that they put out. Chris is amazingly affable, appealing. Lizzie is incredibly expressive, emotive, and the combination of the two is like yin and yang. I first saw Alex in a video with Lizzie. They were shooting in Lizzie's condo in downtown Toronto. I fell in love with what was obvious. Alex is a creative entrepreneur. She builds apps. She's a, obviously a consummate filmmaker. She's a storyteller. She's constantly doing collaborations with other YouTubers. You're blown away by her attention to detail when it comes to commercial filmmaking, digital storytelling, and everything in between. She's an absolute force. Anything that she wants on the planet is hers for the taking. She's that good. Another guy that I want to talk about, Spencer Sakurai. Started to do some research on the Panasonic S1H. I come across Spencer Sakurai, who has one of the most detailed breakdowns. So all of a sudden, Spencer absolutely explodes onto my radar and I start consuming a lot of his content. Spencer is an absolute wizard 
ethereally talented, a true craftsman. If you want to close the gap in terms of commercial filmmaking, understanding the nuances of great cameras like the S1H, which is, by the way, an amazing small body mirrorless that is one of the first Netflix approved cameras that isn't a small body, is not one of the large cinema cameras. Right now, you know, we're still in the Canon ecosystem mostly as a, a newer video production house. You know, even though we're a content agency and we do strategy, uh, marketing, distribution, video production is something that we're still now getting into. And, you know, we, we use the, the C100, we use the EOS R, the M50 has really turned into a great video making beast for us in terms of being a supplementary camera and sometimes even being an A camera that we use uh, for a lot of our vlogging content. Another camera that we have used is the Blackmagic Cinema 4K and the 6K. Panasonic exploded onto my list because of Spencer Sakurai. Highly suggest you check him out, take a look at his content, and I, you know, I can't say enough good things about this guy. I'm gonna move on or else this video is gonna take forever. A guy that I noticed uh, at the beginning of my odyssey at the end of 2018, a really hardworking, no-nonsense approach, not flashy at all. I'm talking about Christopher Rhodes from YC Imaging. Christopher is a super talented music video producer and content creator from the Virginia area. Does some work in the Atlanta, Georgia region and really is an amazing talent. Amazing ability to really break down what are seemingly complex concepts and really make them accessible to the viewer. He's someone who clearly cares about his craft and his care emanates through every bit of footage when it comes to his content. What I love about Chris so much is his passion. Fast forward to today, I believe Chris is somewhere, he's close to about 500,000 followers on YouTube. People are really drawn to his story, to his workmanlike style, the different products that help him and help his workflow in terms of being a video professional. He's starting to do some really personal content where he's vlogging about his day-to-day -day life with his wife and his young son. Another example of someone who literally gets me out of my seat every time I watch his content. I want to create, I want to make, and the sky's the limit for Chris. He is still so young and there is no telling where his ceiling is as a professional and as a video creator. Next two I'm gonna talk about are Mango Street and How to Beast. Let's get started with Mango Street. This is a crazy channel. It is one of the top photography and content production lifestyle channels on YouTube today. Close to a million subscribers. A dynamic duo, a hell of a couple based out of LA, Rachel Galata, Daniel Inskeep, among the best of its kind. What I really love about Rachel and Daniel and their channel is just the sheer amount of value that you're getting out of every video. I really love these guys. I can't say enough great things about this channel. It's taught me so much. I have, not only am I subscribed, I have the alert. I literally run to the TV every time or I open my phone or I go to my laptop every time an alert pops up because I'm just so hungry to consume. One of the things that I love so much about them is their natural on-screen chemistry. They seem to really care and respect one another, which is really important. They literally finish each other's sentences. Rachel and Daniel have a really playful, whimsical approach to their content that cuts through the noise of all of the similar content out there. Mango Street is in a class of its own. I highly encourage you guys to subscribe to them, to watch their content, go along for the journey. Speaking of having fun, I want to end off with one of my favorite channels out there, David De La Morenas, otherwise known as How To Beast. David is a fitness lifestyle entrepreneur, one of the craziest 
YouTube editors I've ever come across. What I love about David is his attention to his craft, his love for his craft, it really shines through. You can, if you go back all the way to the beginning of his channel, you will see the arc of improvement. But David is really that guy that you're rooting for the entire time as he's shooting and he's editing and he's putting together his stories. It's very consumable content. I didn't go searching for it. This was literally YouTube algorithm at work again, trying to match make me with content. Google knows everything about us. They know our preferences. They know what we're doing. I'm so happy that uh, the match was made. I'm a big fitness guy. I love uh, exercise and working out and pay attention to diet. Normal, if you feel good, you exude positive energy and good things happen. You know, whether it be confidence, mindset you know the how to beast channel is among the best of its kind the personal story of david's development he's an entrepreneur he's developing a bunch of different fashion brands something that resonates with me as someone who's brought out a bunch of fashion brands in the past he's a beast in every sense of the word you will really enjoy his content it's really hard to not root for this guy and I have to say, those sequences where he's driving his car, he's got his drone following the cars he's driving. He's a guy originally from the East Coast, now uh, making his life in his home in Texas. Amazing content. I can't get enough. And that's, I'm going to wrap it up right there. I thank you guys so much for your attention. So appreciative of your time. Subscribe to the channel if you like this content. Give me a like, that really helps the algorithm make recommendations. Get other people who may benefit from this content. Get them watching it. Until next time, goodbye, and we'll see you in the next video.